Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. No. Sometimes I feel like my only friend is the city I live in, the city of angels. Lonely as I am, together we're wow, crying. That, that one note was horrible. That one, right when I said, wow, that note right before that was just truly atrocious. But I will say, honestly, have you been working on that or no? Because that's the best you've ever sang. It's horrible, but it's the best you've ever sang. I don't ever want to feel Got poked in the butt. Like a, I did that a, day. A whole arm Take me to ass. the place all right, all right, I love. Whoops. Take me all the way. Dude. Oh. Chris you, know, .com. you know how that you know that song you know that song I was singing? Because it's so good and I you, sing it good. I know it, yeah. Okay, yeah. But you don't You know how he good. says I don't ever I don't ever want to feel I like already know what you're day. gonna say. What am I gonna say? You're gonna say it sounds like he starts it with an L. Ah! We're brothers! <laughs> we're brothers. Dude, we're brothers. Right? Yeah. And we, and we never talked about this, am I right? Well, I don't ever I want it. to feel Dude, I know you so well. God yeah, damn dude, brother why connection. Did you, how did you possibly I know that? I don't know, dude. One time my friend said, dude, I had a dream the other day about a T-Rex. And I said, oh, yeah. And you want to know the weirdest thing? I said, was it smaller than it, than it normally would be? And he said, yeah, how did you know? Dude, sometimes you just know who you, sometimes you just know your friends and some, and you definitely know your brothers. Yeah, dude. that's true. So yeah. speaking of that which, was crazy though. Well, I don't ever want to yeah. feel, you know, what's great. I sing better now because of my fucking. Oh, that makes sense. Shit is out. So if you thought I was good before, which you did, my shit is amazing now. And I would tell you even more. I got the stents out today. I went to the doctor, took them out. No, it's clear as shit. Yeah. Now let me tell you something. Crusty and disgusting up there. Yes. Yeah. But also breathe better. Not so sure yet, but will maybe after the crust goes yeah, over. Yeah, but yeah. I will tell you this much too. Um, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Hold on. Okay. Ah, I sound different in my head. Oh, yeah. How crazy is that, dude? I mean, that makes sense though, right? Well, yeah, I know, but I literally sound different in my head. And it always feels like I have constant boogers. Let me see if I have boogers. Okay, well, I don't. fucking the disgusting. Good news is I don't. I got my hair cut today. I'm looking really nice. I need to get a gold chain because I got the gold. I got, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> because I got the gold watch and I got the gold ring. <laughs> I got the gold watch and the gold ring and I need to get the gold chain because I can't have a fucking silver chain with the gold shits because my OCD tells me that you should not mix metals even though fashion would beg to differ. The, I took off my shirt the other day and I was probably doing it like sexy and suave and shit okay. and i accidentally ripped off my chain so i don't have my chain right now oh so it's broken it's not on me anymore do you only have one tattoo no i got one two. there oh and one there both in this i mean only like tattoos in your chest is it sex appeal or what so far is that sex appeal or what no that's that is not what sex appeal would be i disagree i mean you know sex appeal is something different than that i disagree i beg to differ uh, uh, I no, don't ever want no. to feel. Honestly, how did I know you were going to say that? I don't know. I want to get back to that. It's not amazing. It. It's really weird that you knew I was going to say how that. How did I know that? I don't He's know. He's perceptive, folks. Wow. Honestly, dude, it's literally gorgeous how perceptive I am. So talk about gorgeous. Why do you say that word now? Worst therapist. Talk about gorgeous. Ah, fuck. You're fucking gorgeous. Fucking, I don't know, dude. Gorgeous. I just come. I start with new shit and then I run with it, man. Do you think people know what I'm doing when I do that? Ah, fuck. You're fucking Gorgeous, fuck you, fucking gorgeous. Well, they do know what that you're doing if they listen to the podcast Lifeline. The because Colin Farrell sex tape. Yeah, that's room. the fucking funniest thing that there's ever been. I are fucking gorgeous. Ah, fuck, you're fucking gorgeous. That's fuck how I want to have sex, gorgeous. dude. He copies me. Man. He's he's gross in it though. He's he was when he was doing that movie when he had his shaved head and the goatee, so he looks like wow. The ugliest he's oh, ever. I looked. didn't know there was actual good footage of it. I thought it was like mostly hazy and gray. It is, but like he goes down on her, oh, and wow. like it's like a close up of him going down on her. Like, fucking. Fuck, God, fuck, fuck, fuck. It's only, it's not gross because it's him. It would be gross if it was somebody else, dude. I know, but it's, it, it's, if it's it was the him, grossest he can be. Uh, no, 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 no. Whoops. <laughs> if it was him dressed as the penguin with that shit, well, I that's mean, as that gross as he can be. That would be just demented. That would never happen. Ah, you fucking gorgeous. Hang, hang, hang. You're gorgeous. <laughs> hang, 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 hang. You're gorgeous. 
Um, so uh, <laughs> he doesn't do that. Where's though. the bad? Uh, foiled again by Batman. Hang, 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 you're gorgeous. <laughs> what if you were On, eating th- while having sex? You what know? if you were fucking foiled again by Batman? Hang, 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 gorgeous, gorgeous. Foiled again by Batman. Hang, 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 hang. This, you know. <laughs> Dude, can't even fucking. Wow, sound way different in my head. You don't sound different at all. Good. So stop good. saying it. Good, 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 good. So good. what you're gonna do? That's great. Nope. You're gonna stop saying that entirely. B- a, a boss. <laughs> I wish I. I want to be a boss. I know I'm a CEO. Obviously, there's no fucking nobody. Not not news to anybody. I'm a CEO, but of what? Uh, of of my industry. Of my of my of my of me of my of my business. Okay. Me, which is me. So you're and not one. Okay. I have maybe one or two employees, but. Um, yeah, I'm a CEO, and I want to be a I want to be a boss in a in a place though where I go to the work every day, and I say stuff like, "So what you're gonna do is zip it." Whoops, right? I want to. That would be so dope if you were a boss and people talking. You go, "Whoops," uh, like that would be amazing. Everyone would really hate you though. You know that? I know, but not if you were lovable and funny about it, which I would be very funny about it. it might not be lovable, but I'd be very funny about it. Mm, I don't know if employees would appreciate that. They'd appreciate you know the I mean? fucking Christmas bonuses, I'll tell you that much. Okay, well, that's entirely separate. Well, I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Why do you make it always a vibrato thing? It's n- not necessarily just a vibrato. It's also, I do runs. What's that? It's like when you play with the note, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're playing the, with the note. Like okay, you. well, why? I don't ever want to feel. Here's an example. Like I did that day. I know why it is because it. you said it. But I want to know why you do it. It's better. It <laughs> makes the song rip a little I, bit. Harder. I don't like it. Oh, well, you're in the minority. But if you're going to sing under the bridge, you got to sing it like Kiedis. You don't fucking sing no, it like that's fucking. Where, I'm not a fucking cover band, dude. I bring my own shit to it. Okay. I bring, I'm, I'm an artist. So excuse me if you want to be Mr. Fucking, you know. But I do. I'm a crazy artist, you know. Okay. I sang it good though at the top of the show, and we all. That's know fine. That. Um, so I got the nose surgery. The stents came out. Feels amazing. Breathe, breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> got a machine head. It's better than the rest. <laughs> Bad. Is that that song? No, it's a different song. Same guy though. So why would you do a different song when we were singing this one? It's called a medley. But it's not a medley because it's both of us. And it's I called was a doing medley my shit and I don't do of duets. Bush, a Gavin Rossdale medley. You know Gavin Rossdale's- Medley of Bush, uh, Bush fucking orgy. You know Gavin Rossdale's gay? No. I didn't even know that either. It doesn't matter though. I don't see color. Oh, that's not color. I don't ever want to. So breathe in, breathe out. That's the most '90s song of all time, dude. Love it. They're the Bush is the most '90s band of all time for sure. So you got a machine all right, head. All right, all right. It's better than rest. All right. So provocative to call their band Bush. That's like calling their band Schlong. Um, <laughs> Schlong, dude. dude. Yeah, dude. So fucking like. Remember when that was when Bush was created for the fucking p word? Oh, dude. Um, the 90s. Have you heard? Uh, are you familiar with the band Schlong? No, you know. Okay. No. Uh, but I will say. Uh, uh, I can breathe better and it's amazing and I hope it keeps going. You know, it's very crusty and disgusting up there, dusted and busted, but, um, yeah, it's good. And, uh, I feel good. And he said, the swelling will go down. I got to go in tomorrow and he's going to clean it up. Nice dude. He's going to take the suction in and just go. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, did, yeah. Did, you get the, dust- did you get the cotton out? Well, that, that was out day one. Oh really? Yeah. That comes out the next day. Ouch. Um, and then. Fucking ouch. Did that hurt? Uh, no, not at all. I, I actually, I actually, I heard that it was going to be so, either so awful or uh, feel great. What? I, I, people have different, they're like, they, people say it's the worst part of the surgery is getting those cotton parts out. Get the fuck out of here. But I don't what believe it, those people. No, 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 no. The, like doctors say. It. Oh, so, really? Yeah. And, um, and then I, I lit- literally didn't know he did it yet. Oh, really? I didn't feel it. Yeah. Which is really weird because I wasn't numb. Yeah. I was like, did you do it? And he was like, yep. Oh, I was like, oh, it's done? Because I, I expected something. Had you taken the uh, codeine? Or, or? No, oh, it wasn't because of that. No, yeah. I took. I did take it, but I mean like. I mean, I'm tough too, so I don't feel a lot of stuff. Uh, um, you, yeah. So it's all good for me because oh. I don't feel shit stuff because I'm tough. But uh, but uh, that same doctor okay. did this the thing that doctors clinically consider the, the, the third most painful thing. That is like a common medical procedure. I mean, obviously, like what? getting shot eighty times would yeah. be more painful than. But it's childbirth. 
Yeah. Kidney stones. Yeah. And the thing that they had to do to me. What? Which is remove a tonsillary abscess oh, while yeah, you yeah, are yeah. awake. I didn't know that that's what you had. Yeah, tonsil shit is just. It was, I had, I, I still had my tonsils at the time <sighs> and uh, I had an abscess growing on my tonsils. It was closing off my throat. Oh. I fucking got sick like immediately overnight. Had, I was, luckily I was at mom and dad's house. I had to sleep there. I couldn't even get my car by the time. I went there for dinner, felt fine. By the time dinner was over, I had 103 fever and had to just sleep there. What? Passed out, woke up at 7 a.m. Dad was like, I'm not fucking going to work. I'm driving you to Sean's because I was, I had, I already had the fucking sinus surgery with him. Oh, when? So the infection was up there. That's why I had the surgery. Yeah. After the surgery, it moved, dude. It, oh, it, it was living. Are you it was living it up me? in my head, dude. And it went down to my tonsils. And then it created an abscess back there. And I go in there and I can't swallow. I have 103, 104 fever. Sean, dude, we get there. Sean clears out his entire doctor's office. Other patients make him leave. Makes dad leave. Dad was like, I don't want to go. He's like, you can't stay in here. I've seen people fucking pass out from this shit. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And he's like, I was like, well, what if I like waited a day? He's like, dude, if you waited a day, I... If you waited an hour, you might be dead. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, I got to take this thing out of your throat right now. Did he put you under? No, he didn't have time. He gave me one fucking Vicodin. Gets these fucking horse dick sized, like silver fucking rods. And like a big fucking long mirror thing. And it just starts fucking going to work. Got my sheen head. It's better than the rest. What if that's what he was doing when he was doing it? (laughs) (laughs) But dude, so I'm in the chair and I just see blood going... Oh my God. And he's just like, this, breathe in, breathe out. Dude, if he did that, and the blood wow. Was, but the, dude, the blood was going, tss, 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 tss. Well, I don't ever want to feel but, but, like I did that day. Wait, how amazing would it be though, if that's what he was doing? Cause you'd be in so much pain, <laughs> but you'd still be like, God, he's really fucking awesome. Yeah. I mean, that would be the, the shit, but here's, his the, foot here's the real reason I brought up the story though. Okay. okay? I'm Batman. It's because... <laughs> Of the toughness of me, Mm. he warned me. He said before he did anything, he said, Matt, I wish I could say something else, but this is going to hurt so bad. Really? And I was like, do it. Because I was in so much pain already. Yeah. So I was like, do it. Make this stop. And as he was doing it, I was thinking, it's good he said that because it hurts, but it doesn't hurt that bad. Because you were ready for it. Yeah, I was so ready for it. So that was like the opposite of what he did for me when he fucking sprayed ants up my nose and I passed out. (laughs) Right. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, Uh, But also the thing... That thing, yeah. moral of the story, end of the story, that's what killed George Washington. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, dude, I'm tough. He's tough. He won the war and shit. First president, general. I'm tougher. I survived it. Wow. Wow. Anyway, got a machine hand. So, uh, since cure. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's do. Uh, let's go. Let's do. Let's do it. Let's, here we go. First one. Brent Morin. Uh-huh. What's up, guys? Dan Talk. here from North Carolina. Got one for you. So Shit. where we live, we've got two wooded lots on either side of our house. Scott. We're tucked back in the woods a little bit. Cool. People drive down our road in our neighborhood and I guess think, no, oh, no one lives here. I'm just going to litter oh, all the time. Super that frustrating. Uh, the other day, I go out my front door, cars driving by as they're passing through bunch of papers and napkins fly out the window what? naturally brm yeah. uh but what can you do go and pick up all the shit one of the items though was a receipt oh. with her name on it oh, oh wow. from papa john's 40 pizzas 40 days fat fuck yeah so i look her up on next door of course she lives in the new neighborhood that this our guy. old neighborhood pause it to, and bro this guy's like the fucking casual liam neeson I will find you. I will kill you. I will find the Papa John's you want to. I will ask for the statement, and I will find you, and I will kill you. All right. What do you think of that? Um, I don't know if you did anything rad yet. You okay. got to wait. Well, go ahead. Yeah, she lives like a, a quarter mile away. So I killed her. My question <laughs> is, what's the best thing to do here? Oh. Do I shame her on next door? Do I send her her receipt back in the mail and say, change? <laughs> uh, do That'll I spin good. move onto her front porch? Wow, that would be amazing. If and confront her. I don't know. Those all sound pretty bad. So, hoping you guys have something Getting better. Chased by the cops. <laughs> Love the show. Sore, sore. K. K. Yeah. Brm. By the way, Brm what, what is, is blood yeah. red mad. Oh, okay. Yeah. He knows them all. He knows them all. He's yeah. got them all. He's um, I, I. He said those are all bad ideas, but I like the idea of bringing it back to her house. 
Right. But maybe he could hand deliver it. And be like, you left this at my house. Dress in a suit just to really confuse the shit out of her. Right, with a rose. Uh, yeah, I would like to give you, you oh, you dropped this. Where, mm -hmm. what? No, what? Yeah, you dropped this right at my house. You yeah. drove by and you thought my place was the, tra was yeah. the trash can. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then do a spin move. No, you know what? You know what he should do. Leave. He should do it in person. Mm -hmm. All he should do all that. Yeah. But he should take a trash can with him. Yeah. And he should say, "Do you see me? Mm -hmm. And you see this? Do we look I'm, the same? A magician. Do we look the same? <laughs> yeah. And then when she says no, he should, he could act confused and be like, "Well, then why did you treat us exactly yeah. the exact same? Yeah. Wow. You know what so I mean? So fucking much work to do that. But <laughs> what he should do is go over there and. Ring the doorbell when she opens it, take trash and just drop it out of the front door. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and she'd be like, sir, what are you yeah. doing? And he says, oh, exactly what you did. Yeah, yeah. Exactly what you did. Yeah. You yeah. threw a receipt from Papa John's out of my fr front door. So what I'm doing is the exact same thing. Bye. And say, and then fucking. Who, who the fuck? Does, that's so gross, dude. Who throws the trash out their window? Dude, I've never once done that. Oh, wow. Really? Why would you throw trash out your window? Throw it away when you get out of your car. It's if it's super gross, and like you you don't want it to get all over your car. I understand. Well, that's I understand. Like, okay, in like an emergency, if yeah, like yeah, yeah. your fucking kid threw up in the car. Well, no, okay, I mean, we're talking about a little bit. Back it up a little bit, though. You know what I mean? What? Not not if your kid threw up. Like I'm saying, like if you have, I don't do this, but like if I had a wet cup that I finished and all the cup holders were full with something. No, never. No. I would never do that. Yeah, I wouldn't I would, do it. I would open the window, dump the liquid out, and just throw it in the back and throw it out. But then it still, it would get wet in the back. Who gives a shit? It dries. But I understand it. Okay, but it's fucking rude and shitty. It is rude and shitty. Okay, so he should send it back, bring it back, whatever. I think, I mean, what he should really do, if he has the time and gives a fuck, is send it back in the mail with a note. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I would say that's a good move. Uh, it is interesting how much that irks. I mean, it must happen to this guy a lot, actually. Clearly, yeah. Yeah. So, but it, but he said it did though. He said people treat it like it's a, you know, after he got done bragging about that, he lives on a right. Fucking, has like you know, a beautiful big estate. Yeah. You know, we've got acres and acres upon acres and yeah. whatever. I get it, but you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, it sucks. So I guess yeah, that's it. Mail it back to her. That would be really interesting. Yeah. With a really heartfelt like lip, man. It really sucks. Yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. believe what you did. I'm trying yeah. to get over it. Me and my wife are having a hard time. But... <laughs> that would be great. Dude. We're gonna get over it at some point. It's okay. Yeah. It's really hard. It really, it's really you know dealing with this would be one thing, but <laughs> dealing with it while she's in bed with cancer really is hard. Right, so, right, right. You know, you're just adding to our problems. Right, right, right. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. All right. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it before it starts. Okay. I love her. Oh. Hey, Chris and Matt. Um, my name is Brittany and I'm from Newfoundland, Canada. Um, I've been a huge fan for a long time. Um, I've been listening to Congratulations since 2018 and I've been a member of the Church of K since oh. it started. Yeah. Like, wow. And I'm your biggest fan, Matt. Like yeah. anyone who says otherwise is dead to me yeah. and okay. dead agree. wrong. Well, so, it's both of us, but yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm looking for advice because the other day my house caught on fire uh -huh. While I was in it with my cat, God. we did get out and no one was hurt. Um, okay. Saying that so casually, but like <laughs> that's what happened. And um, I've had like really, really great people around me because my friends are amazing. My coworkers are amazing. My family is amazing. And they've all been helping me so much. And it's been. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Like it's been so overwhelming, like the love that I've received. Um which isn't a complaint. It sounds like I'm complaining about it, but I'm not. What I'm <clears throat> struggling with is accepting the help and not feeling guilty for it. Like, I feel like I have to, like, tell everyone, like, you, you shouldn't be helping me. Like, don't help me. But that's, like, yeah. insulting. And so I just, I don't know how no. to accept it to myself that, yeah. like, it's okay to accept help. Um, and again, I know this is, like, such a silly complaint to have, and it's, Sleeper. I'm so privileged to have such wonderful people around me. It's great. And I am so grateful because I do need that. Yeah. And I do feel loved. But I just don't know how to accept that other people want to help me. Yeah. And I was just wondering if you guys have any tips around, like, accepting help. And, yeah, just accepting help. And I know that you both were raised Catholic, so you can relate to that Catholic guilt thing. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what, where a lot of this comes from, but yeah, just any tips? 
I, I would really appreciate it. I feel like. Um, and thank you guys so much for all the laughs. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I feel like uh, my version of this is like I did it today, dude. I caught myself like I was getting my nose stuff done. And then afterwards, I went to a cafe and I sat down. I ordered some food and these two women walked in and I just decided uh, they fucking hate me. Oh, like that, I do that. I, I talk about my podcast. I, I always think somebody hates me when they walk into a room. I'm like, oh, these people are all fucking they don't like me. I'd have to like make them like me, which is so much work and stress and like mental fucking bullshit. And it's all me because half the time, honestly, a lot of the times they'll walk up to me and be like, hey, man, big fan or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Or also they have no idea well, it, who you exactly. are. Exactly. It's, it's so yeah. egotistical to yeah. walk in and think yes. somebody hates me. Exactly, so, yeah. so, um, so I did it. I, I was like, oh, this chick hates me. And I was like. Dude, no, they don't, man. Why am I fucking thinking of this? And it's just like this stuff. Like, I mean, that's a different thing than what you're dealing with. But that's all something you're putting on with putting on and you don't need to. Like, dude, it makes people feel good to help you. And you do the same for them. And it sucks that you feel that way. And it's a weird thing to complain about. But then you're adding the double stress of, oh, fucking. But now I feel bad. I'm even complaining about yeah. it. Like, dude, just like let people help you because uh, this sounds so fucking but like because you matter dude like you just matter as a person you're just a you're a person that people love and besides that you're just a person your fucking house caught on fire yeah. which is the worst thing yeah you know yeah. Yeah. like it's the worst thing so yeah. just fucking let them do it you owe it to yourself yeah. and them to just let them do it yeah. yeah i mean she's great I, I love her i've known her for a while just okay. online and stuff um uh and yeah, she seems sweet. Yeah, she's great. Um, and that's terrible that that happened. But I think the truth is, uh, you think of it this way: if it happened to someone you loved, you would want so much to help the person it happened to, mm. and you would be touched if they let you help them. So think of it that way: you're the people that are wanting to help you. You're ma you're making them feel good by accepting their help. I'm bad at accepting other people's help as well. But uh. when I realize accepting their help makes them feel better, I'm not doing them a favor by getting out of their way or like not accepting their help. Yeah. They're not extending the offer because they, they're secretly hoping I don't fucking take it. They want to give it to me. They want to help. It makes people feel good to help. So let them. And then also receive the help so you both end up benefiting. It's a good fucking thing. You like to help people. Let them help you. Everybody en ends up benefiting. And um, it's fucking great. Especially if you have chick friends. Chick love to do that shit, dude. Chicks love it. Chicks love it. Dude, one time, I think it was, yeah, it was Kristen. She was like, I wish you were, because I, I don't remember. It might have been, been Cassie before. I don't know. I think it was Kristen, though. She was like, I, no, it was Kristen for sure. It wow. doesn't I totally matter. fucking remember. No, but I remember, but I want to get it right, though. Dude. Okay. She was like, I wish you were sick. And I was like, what? And she was like, I would just like love to take care of you all day. Wow. And I'm just like, so chick. Like chicks love that shit, dude. Yeah. And dudes do too if they're fucking bitch, if they're bitch made. Do you know what I mean? So if you have bitch made friend dudes, then great. And if you have chick friends, then great. They want to help you. No, I, I, one time in the middle of the night, I got a call from someone I, I really kind of don't know. Not, not didn't know that well, even at the time. And, I mean, everything is taken. In and, this. and she was like, not Matt. Yeah. I don't really know why I called you. This is not someone I was romantically involved with at all. Wow. This is someone I was only kind of friends with. She was like, I'm in jail. I got arrested. Can you come pick me up? Are you fucking shitting me? And I was like, yeah, I'll do that. When and the I hell was this? This was years ago. I mean, Did I you ever tell me? I don't know. No, maybe not. You don't know her. He, uh, Chris knows her. Why did, you, why did she call you? I don't know. I think she just thought like I would, oh, I would yeah. be you the one that her. wouldn't judge her. Yeah. Whoa, dude. I wish she yeah. called me. I would have done it. <laughs> I would have loved. Just a stranger, you know? That sucks, dude. You know yeah. what? Give her my number if it happens again. Man, I would love to show up and be, because that, you know, when they say like people are like, yo, last night was a movie. Yeah. You could say it after that. That was a, yeah, But it's yeah, like yeah. a fucked up independent movie. But like yeah. last night, right. you can say like this, last, yo, last night was a movie. It's actually a movie. I think, like, I think she could actually say last night was a play. Her? That, it was a play. Oh, yeah. You know? Of, yeah, right, right, pick right. Pick up right. in jail. Yeah, what do you want? Like, yeah. oh, I'm here to pick up my friend. Yeah. Ah, you don't even barely know her. Yeah. What are you doing? In a white tank top. Let us sweat it out. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. We threw in a drunk tank. Yeah. Really? Has she been drinking? I don't know. The papers here say, <laughs> you know, a bunch of prop papers and shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was a play. But uh, I don't even really talk to her anymore. Well. But I, I got her out of jail. 
She's a convict. So and it maybe made me feel good. Her. It made me fucking feel good. Right? Yeah. And that's, that is the point. People like to give Do you know help. what she was in jail for? Yeah. Was it bad? Drinking and driving. Drinking and driving. Wow. Yep. Well, okay. So let people help you. Yeah, let them. You matter. Thanks, Brittany. What's up, man, Chris? My name's Shaq. Quick question. Wow. Um, the illest guy in the world. So yeah. my wife and I got married in October. And we live in a townhouse. And, and, and when I join, pause it, neighbor. pause it. And, and, when, and the thing is, I really don't want to join Boys to Men, but uh-huh. my, my look, my face and my glasses <laughs> and also uh, my, my chain and the hat and particularly the way my hair is behind it. Uh-huh. Uh, I, and my wife says, you have to join Boys to Men. <laughs> and I'm just like, God, but that's not me, you know? And uh-huh. I can't even really sing. But she's like, but look, did you look in the mirror? Yeah. And I do every day and I get what she's saying. So my question is, should I be the fifth member of Boys to Men and perform with them Always on the second show at the Mirage after the comedian. <laughs> Dude, they do. They perform every fucking yeah. Friday, Saturday on the second show after whatever comedian is there. Dude. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> There's nothing more boys to men than that, dude. That's so weird. Dum 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 da da. You've been so rude to the guy, but What? Yeah. He looks so much no, like not boys about to- that, but now you're just talking about the Mirage. You know what I mean? <laughs> It started out good, but now you're talking about Las Vegas. So here's that. I just married my wife, and sure, mm dum dum da da, mm dum dum da da, ba ya 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 da. But the thing is, I wonder if when she tells me to take out the trash, it's like how hard it is to say goodbye to yesterday. Anyway, that was bad. Yeah, yeah, because I I didn't know what song I was singing yet. (laughs) Anyway, go ahead. Where every time we play music, here we go, or. (laughs) watch a movie or something she'll call the cops on us because oh god they say it's too loud it's oh, never been name. that loud oh that's hard but I... we wanted to be cordial so i went over to her house with and the knocked four on others. her door she never came to the door anytime oh. she never comes to the door i've done spin moves in front of her <laughs> doorbell so she knows i'm capable <laughs> of like doing those kind of moves but yeah i don't know what to do at this point she keeps calling the cops on us they say they're gonna find us if we keep doing it but it's like all hours of the day it could be like 3 p.m wow and we're playing music that's not right where does he live like what state she's calling the cops on us so yeah i've thought about signing her up for scientology (laughs) and that kind of stuff just so she's getting a bunch of mail coming to her house just mild inconveniences yeah i can't think of anything that's so so weird i need y'all's help yeah to get me out of this pickle so I don't have the cops coming to my door, banging on it every single day. That's crazy. And I appreciate it. I'm seeing Chris in Atlanta yeah. in September. Can't wait. Me and my brother are going to come see. Oh, fuck. And I guess we'll make friends with that guy from a few weeks ago who's moving here. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Douches. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I'll be in Atlanta, chrislea.com. God damn it. I always forget to do that up front. Atlanta, chrislea.com. It's almost sold out. Go to chrislea.com. I'll also be in Washington, D.C. Uh, I want to get to your problem, sir, but uh, I'll be in Washington, D.C. and then also uh, Dallas and then also uh, Wichita. So anyway, next question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I honestly think you should write her a note. What an asshole. She won't come to the door, Yeah, that, well, that, dude. that's the biggest shit that it's like, all right, at least fucking man dude it's not like he's got a gun waving it in your face his, his fucking soundtrack his music is too loud you know what i mean it's like not even too loud what well, right 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 i mean it, right well even if it is though it's like how is that the first step dude you well knock yeah that, on that's their my, door and say hey point. can you yeah. turn it down yeah, yeah. can you move it off the wall like there's there's solutions here also if she's not black if she's white just play the race thing yeah well 100 yeah, do that yeah uh, yeah. it's also, it's probably, a, it's a white lady thing to do to call it. It's probably white. I, yeah, if she dude. is white, I, I, I applaud the dude for not making it about that, but you know I mean, what I mean? That's, that is, um, yeah, that is that's a, so that's annoying. Bad. Uh, that, that, uh, is so annoying and, uh, but definitely get, get crafty and get silly with it. You have to, because I mean, she's doing everything legal, but it's still shitty, you know? So you got to get crafty with it, man. How is that the first, I can't believe that dude well, calling the first. Fucking cops? Well, noise pollution's a real thing. But knock on the door, dude. I, I come and knock on my door. I know <laughs> I get it, but also, like, she's, uh, like, it sounds like she's, like, just 
some woman that lives there and she's probably fuck her dude well she's obviously scared of, of he should kill her he should kill her no i he should I don't... wipe her out okay so it's gonna be have the disclaimer first but um... <laughs> no but he should like write her a note and like be a, a human to her and be like look um i don't know how we got off on this foot but like can we just like have a conversation about this instead of like immediately going to the fucking police yeah you should actually knock on her door and be like ma'am before you make the biggest mistake of our lives don't do it baby run no 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 that that's boys to men yes okay. um i just don't think, call the cops i think you need to like establish even though she won't come to the door you got to figure out a way to establish a line of con- communication with her and like represent yourself as the human that you are and like sometimes people just like lash out and do the extreme thing mm. and then they're like that sort of that kind of behavior crumbles under the realization that they're doing it to just a human being yeah yeah you know yeah, what I mean? yeah no i totally agree so i think maybe if you can somehow even though she's not coming to the door like a fucking complete asshole yeah like get write a note to her like even if you have to write like several like make it a, your mission to establish a line of communication with this woman and and i think that if you can exhibit you're just like just what you did with us that you're just like a fucking human being uh i think she might actually be reasonable i mean yeah it, i mean it could be but also you are also the brother the delia brother that hasn't seen fear thy neighbor and that is a fucking show that i've told you about that people wind up dead there and it always takes place in atlanta so i'm just saying dude you think he's gonna die or the other woman's gonna die no the, in the show he would die Oh, really? Well, yeah, because it's always the person that's like, what's the problem that does? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, did I? Like, because they don't know what, I didn't know what I was doing. And then all of a sudden, they were on my front lawn with a fucking AK. Whoa. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, but also get silly with it and get, you know, do things that you can be creatively, like, you know, uh, 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 pa- what do you call it? Like, uh, fuck her life up in, like, the ways that she's fucking yours up, you know, because yeah, I mean, this is, that that could escalate though. It could escalate, but all, but it can if you're like, well, well that wasn't me, right? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. I, I didn't do that. I'm yeah. sorry. The, yeah. Left the fucking. But all what those is that? Boys what, to men CDs out. That's not going to so stop. That wasn't me. Thing though, that's not going to stop the cops. No, it's not going to stop her from calling the cops. Rather, yeah, it might, it might not. But you might get the hint if you wink. You know what I mean? It wasn't me, and then wink. <laughs> no, I think honestly, you gotta just show her the human that you are, and and like make her hostility crumble that's i hate people like that dude. me too that's that's like the worst fucking shit i feel so guilty like in hotels when people are being so loud and like i remember once i i, I called the front desk because it was like 3 30 in the morning and uh-huh. it wasn't even like a friday or a saturday and it was so they were so loud playing music and i felt so guilty calling because i was like i should just go over there and fucking say something uh. but the reason why i didn't well I don't. I think the reason why I didn't is because I didn't want them to be like, "Oh, Crystalia," and then fucking that was a whole thing. But that's what I made it about instead of being a fucking real man and going over there. I just uh, called uh, security like a bitch. But I think, it was. I think free- sometimes, yeah. If for me, a reason I would call in that instance yeah. is I if I got up and did it, I wouldn't be able to go back to sleep. Right, right, right. If right. I just rolled over and f- fucking called the front desk, I would yeah, be able to fall back to sleep. Too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, oh, dude. Yeah, we'll be quiet. Can we take some pictures? Me like this and the pictures. And just so, you, so asleep. You just join the party. <laughs> What's up, Chris and Matt? This is AJ from Auburn, Washington. Uh, I just need some advice from you guys. Uh, my fiance and I have been together for about four years. We have a toddler together. He's two and a half, same age as Calvin. Nice. It's been real cool to watch him grow up together. Uh-huh. Um, and I need advice on babysitting. Um, yeah. I've been looking into alternate methods of babysitting since we have no I family plant. around. We've probably only gone out together three times since he's been born. Yeah. Um, and that could put a strain on your relationship. Yeah. And um, mm. we're doing relatively well considering, but... Um, I'd like to spend more time with her, and I think it would make things a lot better for us. But mm. she's concerned that uh, a babysitter would do something to the yeah. kid, ah. which is understandable. Um, and he can't speak full sentences yet. So I get it. Um, but she's absolutely not down with it. So I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on this. Thank you. That's a good, that's a good one because I don't I – don't, well, also – well, first of all, don't you know people? Yeah. Like, don't you know people that would do it? Yeah. That's the yeah. thing is go to people that you know that might do it. Yeah, or or 
I mean, you should handle this in general yeah. because what the fuck do I know? But yeah. I, th I feel like if there's a way to like contact or connect with vetted. Yeah, there are apps that yeah, you can exactly, use yeah. that, that they're vetted and shit. Yeah. So that's your, I think that's your second best bet is if you don't have somebody that you know that like you trust. Also get like a Nanit thing, like video. Yeah, like yeah, you could room. do that. Yeah. But also, I mean, you never know. I mean, the, the, the kids, so that doesn't stop somebody from kidnapping your kid, which is that that's what she's scared of. Uh, <clears throat> whatever right okay uh but yeah i'm i'm of your wife's thought like i don't like like Kristen is like we'll just use the babysitter that, that comes with the hotel oh, and man. i'm just like no and and she's like well, they're all vetted and they use them all the time and i'm like yeah but i don't fucking know this person yeah they're not watching my kid in fucking room 205 yeah you know like i just don't i don't i don't like that at all and i uh just feel like well, I'm lucky. I have a, a nanny that we trust, and she she babysits most of the time. And we're near grandparents, you know, so my mom and dad will watch them sometimes. But yeah, man, I I wouldn't use I wouldn't use an app. I wouldn't use an app. I wouldn't use somebody that I didn't know and trusted. I just I don't think I or or if a of somebody I I knew a friend that had a babysitter that they trusted, it, yeah. I would do that. Yeah, but yeah, man, I I I'm I'm with your wife on that, dude. I I, I sorry to say, like you never bro, that's your kid, you know? And he's a little bit more trusting, which he's probably right. Nothing's going to happen, but yeah. still ask I, ask I, I would be able to have fun on the date. A friend of yours or a friend of your wife's even if it's like can you just do us a favor one night like watch the kid, like fucking they'll do it. Yeah, you know? true. Yeah, true. Just yeah. ask a friend. Yeah, I guess. They don't have friends, I think. They have no friends in the area. Oh, oh did they I just move or something? That, yeah. I think he said something. Oh, okay. He's like, uh, we didn't just move. We're actually losers. Um, <laughs> that's the thing is that uh, we're so boring. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> ask, ask. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, then that's fucking tough. Yeah. What were you going to say? Ask what? I was going to say, ask someone that you know with kids. But they do have, they do have... Uh, yeah, they do have apps for that that vet the people. And yeah. those people do not want to get sued. So, Yeah, I mean, if I had a kid, I would let anybody fucking watch my kid. You would not? I would let anyone watch my kid. Anyone? Yeah. Like? Just go ahead. Mailman? Yeah. Uh, hey, thanks for the mail. One second. Uh, I got to <laughs> run to the grocery store. Do you mind? <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. He just mails your kid. <laughs> All right. Hey, Delia's. Hey, I was making this video. Actually, has a question. I'm um, pretty sure you guys. Uh, how can normal guys get normal dates and relationships without having like the fastest cars, the biggest houses, the biggest or cocks, le legs that work, um, the biggest cocks, you know? <laughs> without turning into an asshole. Uh, how do we get decent girls who you know have bright outlooks? You know. Uh, Died. Without like mega amounts of money, magic tricks, and changing our own personalities. Um, I like the way you guys put stuff together. You guys are a family unit. It's pretty tight. Hell yeah. Cue up the good work. I like Chris's Ferrari. <laughs> okay. Well, it's solid. Oh, it's All solid, right. the Ferrari. Thanks, okay. Thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, it's our podcast, bro. You're listening to us. Dude, he just died in the middle. He's a. <laughs> I like Chris Ferrari. So that was the third one that he liked about us, by the way. Yeah. You know, big fan. You guys are a family. I love the podcast. Um, I like Chris Ferrari. Anyway, thanks for listening to my podcast. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, dude, I mean, so many guys say this kind of shit. Uh, I, I, I can't recommend a dating app because I've never been on one. I've never been on one either, but say that they're I think, helpful. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, the thing guys get in their head about like I'm not fucking rich I'm not yeah. like fucking this and that whatever so I gotta like put on a thing that is the exact wrong yes. step you don't go outward into another identity that you think other people want yeah you I mean I could turn do it. in and, and I could do it I'm a good actor lean but. into the identity that you already have because it's 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 not about like confidence in like the swagger sense are you lonely but confidence in like the fucking the person is exuding uh comfort with who they are that is the most attractive thing are you waiting for someone why are you saying that because that's what you i'm saying like i could do it I, you, okay. you don't want it but well anyway the good advice that i'm giving uh while you're doing that is your man is in the bathroom advice. 
Yeah. yeah. I think that, uh, honestly, uh, well, my, my friend once said to me, uh, well, actually, he didn't say to me. I heard him say to another guy uh, that was talking to a girl. Uh, uh, and he said, uh, after the girl left, he said, what did you say to that girl? And he said, I don't remember. And he said, and then I said to him, why did you ask him what he said to the girl? Because he does it a lot. Mm. And he says, because I want to know what to say to make girls oh, like me. Yeah, see, that's and so it is wrong. not about yes. what you say. Yes. It is about who you are and you need to work on that internally. Dude, girls, look, everyone wants money because it makes life much more comfortable. But what what girls want more than money, most girls, is like a good loyal dude, yeah. right? Yeah. And if that's what you are, even though you're a paraplegic and you barely <laughs> moved in the video, it's you know, you the girls will sniff that out, right? They'll sniff that out. You die every however long, right? Yeah, but you, you come back to out. life. You pat narcoleptic, dude, it's fine. Play the part where he passed out. Amazing, dude. Go back and play the part where he passed out. Please, dude. It's so funny. Hey, it's in the I middle. Making this video actually well, we'll find question. it. I'm pretty sure you guys. Uh, how can normal guys get normal dates and relationships without having like the fastest cars? The I mean, this guy houses. doesn't move at all. Biggest oh, his cocks. hands moving. Yeah. Biggest cocks. Um, Slid it in there. Without turning into an asshole. Watch when he dies. Uh, I yep. would get decent girls who, you know, have bright outlooks. You know, uh, it's so weird. Bright outlooks. That's a good thing. I know, but. <laughs> died, died. Like, mega amounts of money. <laughs> Magic tricks. Die, die, All right, cool. Look, man, magic tricks. You know that was the third one. This guy, his his shit, his lists fall apart at number three. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what do you want to eat? Um, I have a turkey sandwich, a uh, potato salad, <laughs> car parts. <laughs> Like, what, dude? Like, dude, you can't pick three. Dude, the three, every time you got to the third thing. Yeah, it's I true. really love you guys. Your family. You guys are hilarious. Chris's car. <laughs> well, how do you get chicks without having money, a great personality, magic tricks? <laughs> <laughs> you should stop it too. <laughs> um, oh shit! Just be yourself. I mean, he's clearly a fucking confident guy. I mean, I, I'm assuming that's not working, but that's like a chalk that up to a streak, dude. You're gonna be fucking fine. He's handsome too. Yeah, he's a good-looking dude. Uh, you're gonna be fine. Just, yeah, you, just, you don't, just don't think. What other things do I need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have everything that you need. Yeah, or I mean, yeah. Trust me. Right. Oh man, that was fucking funny. That guy. Yeah. What's up, Chris and Matt? I uh, yeah, love the new show. I wish there was more of it to binge because it's so good. Mm -hmm. Cool, dude. Um, I have a little bit of a tricky one for you guys. So we got a new girl at work like maybe a month ago or so. And they send out like a work email that has a picture attached. And it's yeah, kind of like a don't professional her. type of job. And so I, I noticed that she was attractive before she even started there. Wow. So then the girl starts. I, I work in like a separate part of the office, kind of by myself, so I don't run thing. into a lot of people. <laughs> so I can and get bonus. Long story short, we, we haven't had any interaction. We've never been formally introduced. Wow. As far as I know, she didn't even know I existed. But then I woke up one morning and I got a follow from her on Instagram at three thirty in the morning. Huh. Oh. So I guess my question is: Is that like a sign that she may be interested, or I is think, it just yeah. kind of like? An innocent coincidence, maybe not three thirty in the morning in the bro. area, and she's just trying to make friends. I don't know. I'm unsure if I should proceed with any. What happened? Well, don't proceed with anything, but just know that because man, these chicks be calculated. You don't, know what I mean? Don't ever pursue a workplace relationship. Well, yeah, yeah, don't don't do that. I agree with you. I yeah. agree with you. But my point is, it, she would have thought better. Oh, I shouldn't follow him at three thirty in the morning. I'll follow him. It, you know, he's one. Of, I want to follow everybody I work with, but, but I want to follow. Also, did she follow other people she worked with? That's what I was going to say. Like, look at that. If right. you want to, if you want to know if it's a sign or not, look at the other people that you know from work that are on Instagram. See if she follows them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that that's a cool sign, but don't run with it. That's one of those things. Was like, oh, that's a good sign, but don't run with it. First of all, even if she didn't work with you, don't run with it. Just know that it happened and then maybe if you see her next time say hey what's up you know what i mean maybe do a magic trick 
Well, no, if he didn't work with her, then he could pursue her if he felt like it. I know, but I'm saying not right away. You look too eager. You got to chill a little I don't, bit. I don't believe in that at all. No, 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 but I'm saying, no, okay, if it's fine. If you want to respond, you right, do it right away. Who gives a shit? No, I know, but I'm saying, but Matt, this is, this is from... I guess, I guess I'm thinking about b with the workplace thing, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Then yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. totally, yeah. But yeah, I guess if it w if it wasn't, if she had nothing to do with work, then yeah, you could write her whenever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. But just be careful with the work thing. Yeah. Be I mean, beyond careful. Dude. Yeah, dude. Wow. I saw. I'm still thinking about that guy before him. Um, <laughs> I just uh, I just think uh, it's a train wreck, dude. It's a train wreck. It's a train wreck if you're trying to date a person it, that you work. I with. mean, look, if she pursues you. Re re forget what I said, yeah, but I like, don't pursue her. Uh, if she's fucking following you at three thirty, who knows? She could be a fucking wild card and might actually pursue you. But don't. Yeah, if she's a wild card and she does pursue you, though, you gotta be extra careful because of that. Because if she's gonna th throw caution in the wind and hit on someone that she's working with, definitely don't go with it. Don't go for her. Mm, I think it might be safer though, especially if there's a written correspondence preceding it. Oh, oh, you're saying because you have proof? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Unless she comes up to you and says, hey, what's of up? Of course. I yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, and then he should say, what? Yeah, yeah. DM me. Go hat to that. Go like this hat to that. Yeah. Now, let's. Yeah. Now you follow me because yeah. you follow me at 3 30 the other morning. Yeah. Write it to me on there so yeah. I have evidence of it later. Ha, ha. Oops. Hitch at 3 30. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Careful. Yeah. The shit. Hey, man, Chris. This is Dennis. Love the uh, shit. Love the show. Love the brother dynamics. Um, I love got a couple brothers myself, so I think it's freaking Hell hilarious. Yeah. Uh, straight to the question. How do you guys deal with uh, situations where, like, your girlfriend or your wife, whatever, forced you to be friends with, like, their co-workers' oh. husbands? Oh. It's, like, it's kind of weird. Co-worker um, husband. It's pretty out there. When you're friends organically, when you meet friends organically, yeah. your husbands or their partners or whatever, you usually have, like, shared interest because yeah you go find people that are kind of this, like similar yeah. to you but when you work with someone you're kind of forced to be friends right yeah um so their significant others or their husbands aren't normally the same type of people that's a good that you point normally hang out with anyways um situation came up a couple of years ago uh, my wife had a co-worker that it was like close to halloween so they're like oh we should go to winchester mystery house so we went it was like a double date and uh, the husband was like, kind, of, kind of a mean, kind of a meathead or something. Huh. And then uh, he tried to pick on me. I was like, oh, what? whatever, dude. So I started blasting back. But <laughs> after like 30 minutes of like awkwardness, it became okay. But other than that, like I just want to see how you guys deal with that stuff. I know I just suck it up and just do it. And I've been doing it for like 13 years. Yo, I've been with this girl for 13 years. Oh, wow. Uh, my wife. Uh, <laughs> but it just happens Every like every other year, she'd be like, "Oh, let's make a new friend." Well, anyways, I just want to see what you guys, you, your angle on it. Thank you guys so much. Bite uh, that bullet, that, dude. Bite that bullet and fucking just go and just be like, yeah. Ah, ha, 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 yeah. ah, ha, ha, fucking funny joke, dude. But, but I fucking love this guy, by the way. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, and not just because he's wearing my merch. Uh, you, you, it, it, that's hilarious, dude. Because I, I guess I never thought about the difference between like you. And people always talk about like, oh, your your significant others, sig friends, significant others, and like how you don't choose their them to be friend friends with them, but you have to like be friends with their husbands and shit because you're gonna see them. Um, that's hard enough. I'm really, I'm really lucky. All of Kristen's significant, all of Kristen's friends, significant others, they're all like. I I think all of them are like super fucking cool and fun to be around, which is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Her friends are awesome and their significant others are like I lucked out. Like I would hang out with them alone, you know? Um, but I never thought about the fucking uh co-worker thing because you don't choose who you work with. So already it's like yeah. not somebody that your wife would even really choose yeah. to hang with yeah. they're just trying to relationship build and then their significant others that's so in the weeds that fucking you got stuck with a meathead sucks, you got dude. stuck with a meathead at a, at a magic sucks. house you know what i mean yeah all, of all the like, to, the like you probably you probably don't even want to go to the haunted house yeah. and like you got to go with this fucking dude and that's yeah. like so removed from who you are that's yeah. hilarious yeah bro oh, wow that's so funny you know what now that i'm talking about it 
look at the fucking funniness of it because that sucks dude yeah it's that true. sucks you gotta like, that's, do it that's you cannot do it you ever have one of those days where it's just like oh all right like you go you're late to fucking work or whatever and then you get out a bird shits on your car and you trip and then the fucking coffee comes out and it falls on you and then you got to go to work with like a stain on your shirt at that point you just chalk it up dude yeah. you're just like ah fuck oh okay it's funny now yeah you know you, oh, I got to go to a haunted house with some fucking somebody my wife barely likes person that they're married to that they probably barely like. I don't even know this motherfucker. Got to go and to a haunted house with a meat With head. a meat head and you're fucking sitting there and there's a... Ooh, <laughs> and he's like, oh, you don't even fucking bench, huh? <laughs> Just an actual nightmare. Yeah. Know? He's dressed like fucking some meathead Regis Philbin or some shit. It's Halloween. Oh, right. Okay. And uh, or just Superman, probably. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, dude, that's uh, that's really funny, dude. And that sucks. And it, But if it's once every... He said once every year or a couple yeah. years. That's not so bad, dude. Yeah. Just swallow it. And remember, look down at that sweater, dude. Life rips. Bro, that's fucking funny, man. Wow, 13 years, huh? That's so long. Holy shit. Yeah. Good for him. Wow. What's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? I got a What's question up? for you guys today about a gym partner of mine. Mustache is I've been working out with this dude for two years now. He's an awesome guy. I've been seeing a lot of results and I'm making great progress with him. Overall, he's just the man. Uh, oh. The only issue is about a year in, he started bringing around his cousin, uh -oh. who's an absolute fucking asshole. Oh, no. I mean, wow. the dude is just the most arrogant, cocky person. Whoa. Makes fun of everyone in the gym, what oh. they're putting up, what I'm putting up. Which is ironic. He's five foot six. Is this the guy that the other guy went to the haunted house with? Twenty four, so tiny, right? <laughs> yeah. But just curious, what you guys think? Um, kind of ruining my gym experience. Don't know if I should just go alone oh, damn. or switch gyms or uh, something like that. Not really opposed to it either. But uh, yeah, uh, Chris, been rocking with you for a long time, man. Matt, love you. It's great to see both you guys doing well and and being successful. So oh yeah, yeah. bro. Thanks for taking my question. Cheers. Cool, yeah, dude. dude. What a normal, cool, fucking chill, no pretense, dude. Love it. With the Patagonia hat, you know, his fashion, dude. I will tell you what, dude. Uh, what I would do if I'm being real. I don't even know what I would do. So, yeah. Oh, I know ahead. what I would do. Go I ahead. would tell the guy like, yo, bro, I, I like working out, but like your cousin annoys the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. I would definitely. That's no what I question. would say. Yeah. A hundred percent, I would say. Yeah. So, so, like, if he's going to be around, that's cool. But like, I don't want to work out with you if he's going to be around. Yes. That's what I would say. Yeah. yeah. And I would say it. And I would enjoy saying yeah, me it, too. Dude, me too. Because yeah. I, 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 I want you to know that this is now. Oh, he's he's somebody that affects everything. Yeah. This is your cousin who you bring around is one of those dudes that affects everything, right? So now I'm gonna lay off, dude. I wash my hands of your cousin, so I'm gonna go put up what I put up in a hefty way, and I don't need a spot, dude. Thank you for all the knowledge. But I ain't coming around your cousin anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, it's good to let him know his cousin sucks. He should know that. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to say your cousin sucks. But, like, to be like, yo, bro, that guy is not for me. Like, Calvin goes like this the other day. I was like, he, he, I was like, hey, buddy, you want me to help you with that? And he said, no. And I said, what about teamwork? And he said, he said, teamwork. <laughs> he said, teamwork is not for me. Ah. Dude, that's 100%. Your cousin is not for me. Yeah. Take that Calvin yeah. mentality. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, wow. Hi, Chris and Matt. Um, oh. Love the love the podcast. I'm trying to be fast because I just found out I have to do a minute long huh. or under. Um, but I have this guy friend at work, um, and he has a girlfriend that's really jealous of me. Oh boy! And this girlfriend's God. mom also works where I work. Whoa! And like since so they they all work together, but the girlfriend just quit. And the guy just became friends with me. So now we're friends. Uh, but then the mom of the girl has been like spying on us and uh, telling her daughter, hey, oh they're like flirting God. and hanging out 24 seven. I could care less. Like I literally don't care to be friends with him. I'm just friends with him. And That's we're in a hilarious. Group. Like I don't hang out like alone with him. Yeah. And so basically, so she's been messaging me saying I'm shady and to never oh. talk to them again. And The mom? She no, doesn't no. like her boyfriend having friends at all. Like, That's she's so in weird. control of him. But anyway, um, I just want advice on how to, uh, like, do I stop being friends with him? Or do I just say fuck it and just lean into it, you know, and just say, Suck screw his it. Dick. Like, 
I don't care what she says and just because I don't like that she can control his life, you know. Um, anyway, yeah, that's my question. Uh, I love you guys. Bye. Oh, <laughs> sweetie, too. Here's the, the two options just fucking block her and then do whatever you want. And who cares about this fucking that's asshole? That's the third option. That's cool. Go to HR, dude. Tell if you all work together you, and somebody's making it uncomfortable for you, you can go fucking tell them, dude. Yeah, you can but go then tell you're them. Kind of like the neighbor calling the cops. Okay, but I mean, what's if she's, option two? What's option two? Option two is fucking spit all oh over God. his cock oh and my deep God. throat it, dude. Don't do that. 100%, dude. Don't do that. Why not, dude? You're you know, you want balls. trouble? Let's make waves, baby. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> young, young. That's the rock away. Lean back. Dude, I tell you what, man. That's like, dude, if you're going to make my life difficult, at least I'm going to come. Dude, forget it. Like, that's so annoying. Oh, well, you know what I'm going to do if you're going to keep telling me that I'm trouble? I'm going to turn around in front of your boyfriend and show you what trouble is. Young. Young. Runk. Runk. <laughs> Dude. Do the rock away. Ha. Lean back. Lean back. That's her afterwards wiping up. Okay. Okay. That's so, so annoying. Dude, people are so annoying. That's Dude. true. That is extremely, uh, particularly annoying. Um, block that fucking idiot. And never ever think about her again. And fucking the mom, the mom is the most depressing. <laughs> Fuck the husband of the mom, dude. The, the, mom, the, oh, mom, dude. the mom is the most depressing human alive, I know. dude. Oh, really, dude? Where's your husband at? Show up at Target while he's getting shit for the family. Young. A samurai, a samurai. So uncomfortable to get head that way. Young, da, 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 na, na. young, get in there, dude. Why lean back? <laughs> it's gangster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. That's uh, what Fat Joe does during lean back. Uh, you could do that. You could also block the woman <laughs> and was, not do that <laughs> because she's not into the guy. So sucking his dick <laughs> and fucking him a lot <laughs> wouldn't be beneficial <laughs> to her life. <laughs> Runk. <laughs> dude, that song's so fucking stupid. It is. You yeah, know, dude? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do the rock away. Yeah. Well, I'm sweating after that, dude. Yeah, I'm sweating too. I just, it's like, just everybody fucking relax, dude. Everybody relax. There's so many fucking crazy You know what's interesting about people? People make everything worse, dude. Everybody makes everything worse. Everything that they're afraid of, they make it fucking come true. I know. Everything that they don't want to happen, they make sure it fucking happens. This fucking idiot woman is making everything that she's afraid of, everything bad that she doesn't want to have happen, make it, make it way more likely to happen. Exactly, Nothing dude. would happen ever if, if, if this fucking, if they just left it a fucking loan. But and some fucking asshole and her mom got to fucking stir some shit up and then runk. Yeah, Runk. It's going to be fucking Deep Throat Central if you don't calm down. Stop DMing, man. Yeah. I mean, DMing, saying she's shady, that's that's like the most fucking trashy I'm shady, thing. dude? I haven't done shit. This girl obviously doesn't give a fuck. I know. She doesn't even give a fuck. She doesn't even want to be friends with I the know, guy. I know. She's not. I know, dude. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to fucking Runk it up, dude. Yeah, Runk. Runk it up, for real. Runk, Runk, Runk it up. Pump, 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 pump it up. Oh, I wish I did it with that song instead. That would have been way better. Well, lean back was good. What song is that? Pump it up by Joe Budden. The only good song that Joe Budden ever had. And he talks so much shit about fucking rappers. It's ridiculous. Okay. He's a hater, but we love him though. He's got a great podcast. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Do you guys want to do more? I don't know. I guess we could be done. I never wanna feel Thank you very much Like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the wow, way Wow, that went with it <laughs> Take me to the place I love Take me all the way A car, a car, a car that drove by <laughs> Dude
My nose hurts. Thanks everybody. Yes, dude. Thanks everybody. We well, love you. Well, well, hold on. We're not going out yet. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta figure out where I'm gonna be. I'm oh in Dallas. God. All right. Well, in the meantime, if you have a fucking question like these beautiful people who called in, uh, click on the link in the description below, or just go straight to watchlifeline.com. So now, what's gonna happen is everyone's gonna click out of it, and they're not gonna know where I'm gonna be, and that's gonna be bullshit because you already did the fucking thing. But I will be in Dallas. Let's runk it up. I'll be in fucking Wichita. Let's runk it up. I'll be in. Atlanta, let's runk it up. I'll be in fucking uh, Albany, right? A- a- Albany, yeah. I'll be in Boston, runk, runk, runk. Let's be in fucking uh, uh, Lakeland. I'll be there. I'll be in uh, where else? Let's see. Uh, runk City. You be in Runk City? I d- it didn't even come up. The internet isn't working. Hey, yes, dude. Washington <laughs> D.C. Runk it up. Just. A whole bunch of cities, chrislea.com, and uh, we got the new colorway, the Life Rips colorway uh, that came out. It's absolutely periwinkle. He's on his periwinkle shit. It's absolutely well, we ridiculous. We got fucking merch coming out. We soon do too. have merch coming out, actually. We have Lifeline merch coming out, and you guys are going to like it a lot. It's, it's sick. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, so thanks very much for listening, and you guys are great. <laughs>